Hey guys, welcome to the X Ring. I know it's been a while, been doing a lot of shooting, a lot of uh, construction on the house and everything else. You know, just got done with Pro Am and getting ready to do the Memorial 3 gun down there at Fort Bragg. Uh, but one of the requests that I've had a lot of is for the CZ, the Shadow 2. And I have not shot this pistol. This is on loan to me from uh, uh, one of my viewers, Greg, super, super guy. This does have the Cajun Gunworks uh, trigger in it. So I'm looking forward to shooting this. I think about the only other thing that he's done is maybe this extended magazine release. Uh, this is a single action only or the configuration is such that it's single action only. It is chambered in nine millimeter. But I'm gonna compare it to the CZ, the SP-01 Tactical. They are very similar in size, uh, very similar. You know, I, I don't know in weight exactly. This one, of course, feels heavier. Uh, the barrel is a little bit longer. It's not by much. And overall, the size and everything feels very similar, except this one's a little longer and it also does have a little wider of a body. You guys can see this step down right here, whereas this doesn't have it. But you're also looking at a pistol here that's worth about, or costs about $600. It is a nine millimeter, holds 17 plus one, 19 with the magazine extensions on here. One like this is gonna run you closer to $1,200. Uh, this is more of a competition style pistol, uh, not something I would really consider a carry gun, However, I think this wants to, so many people want to see this review because it's a good alternative to getting into a 2011 and paying, you know, $3,000 for one, whereas you can get into one of these for about $1,200. It's a double stack, holds 19 rounds with a plus two. So let's get to shooting it. it does have the adjustable rear sight. It does have the fiber optic front dot. Let's see how it groups. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is empty, magazine's empty, chamber's empty. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about with this was this trigger, because I've heard uh, KB32 talk about the Cajun Gunworks trigger, and I will tell you, this is a really, really nice trigger. I mean, this feels like a custom 1911. Uh, what I want you guys to see is just, this is just nice and smooth. You got a little bit of take up here, very little, and then it is crazy light. As far as the reset, and I have bees on me today. This reset, not too much. Not too much at all. Just like that. So I'm looking forward to shooting this with this trigger because I've never shot one of these triggers before. Stay tuned. Our 10 rounds in here, I'm at 15 yards. We're gonna be shooting Defender 124 grain. Let's go ahead and charge it up. We have a shoot and see down there. We'll see how it groups. I have not shot this pistol yet. Going hot. All right, guys, so 10 rounds, not bad at all. The lighting is a little funny on the uh, the site for me as far as getting my left and right. But I'll tell you what, it shoots very nicely. I like the trigger a whole lot. Uh, I could see myself probably, probably getting one like this. What I'll do is I'll shoot some steels. We'll just see what we get. And uh, maybe we'll move it back to 50 yards or so. Very, very sweet shooting pistol. Very little recoil because the weight it is a heavier gun. All right, guys, we're at 25 yards. I have some steels out there. I'm just gonna hit some steels, then we'll back it on up. All right, here we go. We'll go silhouette. Man, this thing shoots really nicely. I think this is a really good alternative to someone that's wanting to segue up from that Glock 34 or something like that. Nothing wrong with the Glock 34. But if they're wanting to get into something that has more of a custom feel to it, get a trigger like this, get a Shadow 2, I really don't know if anything fills that price point. You know, I've already reviewed the, the Walter, the Q5 Match SF, and this is a whole different world. I would choose this every day over that Walter. Even though the Walter is nice, this one just fits my hand better. I don't have any hot spots. And with that trigger, man, it's a nice upgrade. Just point and shoot. Let's back it on up to 50. All right, guys, so we're at 50 yards here. Let me pop a couple at 50, make sure we're still on. Yeah. 
Little high. Little left. We'll go for the eight inch round. Nice hit. Man, I tell you what, this thing is really, really nice. Let's back it on up to 100. All right, guys, we're at 100 yards. I just want to see where it hits. Uh, we've got a 10 inch steel out there and then a big man steel. I'll try not to fall off the side of the cliff here. Here we go, three shots. We'll go 10 by 10 steel first. Just Miss. high. We'll go man steel. There's one. So one out of three, not too bad. Like I said, it is a great shooting pistol. I really can't think of any other pistols that will fill that void. If you guys know of some from that $1,200 to $1,500 price point that would make a great competition pistol that would feel more like a double stack 2011 as opposed to something that was striker fired, let me know, comment below, like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon if you haven't checked Rick out. He's helped me with this video here. Check him out over at Is Your Six Covered. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.